How to reset an idle air control valve. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Auto V Fix. So in today's video, we are talking about the IAC valve, how to reset an idle air control valve, the need to, and signs you might need to be looking for to know when your car IAC valve is. So if you have been experiencing engine idling issues or a poor car performance, then it's possible that your IAC valve needs to be reset. We'll cover the symptoms of a bad IAC, why you would want to reset it, and the replacement costs. What is an idle air control valve? Before we dive into resetting an IAC valve, let's first understand what it is. The idle air control valve is a component of your car's engine management system that regulates the amount of air that enters the engine when the throttle is closed. It simply controls the idle speed by adjusting the amount of air that flows into the engine. When the throttle is closed, the engine needs a certain amount of air to keep running smoothly, and this is where the IAC valve comes into play. So the IAC valve then helps adjusts the amount of air that enters the engine to maintain a steady idle speed. Why would you want to reset your idle air control valve? Over time, your IAC valve can become clogged with debris, carbon buildup, and other contaminants. When this happens, it can cause your engine to idle erratically or stall. Resetting the IAC valve can help to clear any debris or buildup and restore proper function. It's important to note that not all IAC valves can be reset. So be sure to check your car's manual or speak with a mechanic before attempting to reset the valve. Symptoms of a bad idle air control valve. Now that we understand what an IAC valve is and why you might want to reset it, let's go over the symptoms of a bad IAC valve. The following signs may indicate that your IAC valve is not working properly. Engine stalls. If your engine stalls when you come to a stop or when you're idling, it's possible that the IAC valve is clogged and needs to be reset. Erratic idle. If your engine is idling erratically, surging or fluctuating in RPMs, it could be a sign that your IAC valve is not working properly. Poor acceleration. If your car is sluggish when you accelerate or takes longer than usual to respond to the throttle, it may be due to a clogged or faulty IAC valve. Check engine light. In some cases, a faulty IAC valve can trigger the check engine light on your dashboard. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's important to have your car inspected by a mechanic to diagnose the issue. If you are finding value in this video and you are not still subscribed, then what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell in order not to miss out on our videos. So, how to reset an idle air control valve? If your mechanic has determined that your IAC valve can be reset, you can attempt to do it yourself. Here are the steps to reset an IAC valve. Step 1. Turn off the engine and disconnect the negative battery cable. This will reset the car's computer and clear any stored codes. Step 2. Locate the IAC valve. The valve is typically located near the throttle body, and it will have a plug or wire harness connected to it. Step 3. Remove the IAC valve from the throttle body. This may require the use of a wrench or socket set. Step 4. Clean the IAC valve thoroughly using a carburetor cleaner and a clean rag. Be sure to remove any debris, carbon buildup, or contaminants. Step 5. Reinstall the IAC valve onto the throttle body and reconnect the plug or wire harness. Step 6. Reconnect the negative battery cable and start the engine. Allow the engine to idle for a few minutes to allow the computer to relearn the idle position. Step 7. Take your car for a test drive to ensure that the idle speed is stable and that the engine is running smoothly. If you still experience any issues, it may be time to replace the IAC valve. So now, 
What is the replacement costs for an idle air control valve? If resetting the IAC valve does not solve the issue, it may be time to replace the valve. The cost of an IAC valve replacement can vary depending on the make and model of your car and the mechanic's labor costs. On average, the cost of an IAC valve replacement ranges from $150 to $300. If you're handy with car repairs, you can save money by replacing the valve yourself. Replacement IAC valves can be purchased online or at an auto parts store for around $50 to $100. In enough shell, I will say that resetting an idle air control valve can help to restore proper function and improve engine performance. So if you are experiencing any of the symptoms we discussed earlier, try to have your car inspected or checked by a mechanic before resetting your car's IAC valve. Because you will only need to reset the valve if your mechanic determines that your IAC valve can be reset, only then should you attempt to do it yourself, following the steps I showed you above. And finally, always remember to refer to your car's owner's manual before attempting any repairs on your own. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful car repair tips and tutorial videos. I will see you in my next video. Bye!